All right, rock stars. Today we're gonna do synthetic division, and I'm telling you, this is so cool. So this is brand new to everyone. Here we go, synthetic division. So first, let's just take a quick minute to ask you this question. If I gave you this polynomial, let's say p of x equals this, x squared minus x minus 12, and I asked you, is x minus four a factor of that? Some of you would actually do this. You would say x minus four, let's divide that in there, x squared minus x minus 12. And remember we did this uh, in class the other day, so we have minus four x there. And you would go ahead and remember you gotta change the signs because you're subtracting. And so that's gonna give me bye bye And we're gonna have three x minus 12. And so, three times x is three, so we're gonna go plus three. And so three times x, three x. Three times negative four is negative 12. And now we subtract, so we change the sign, and we are left with zero. So since this is zero, we know that this is a factor. Now, we already knew that, ladies and gentlemen, because you know how to factor things pretty easily, and that is true. Okay, so you probably already knew that based on looking at it, but this is showing you how division works. So first of all, if you end up with a zero, that means you have a factor of the original uh, dividend. Okay, now, if I asked you for the zeros of x squared minus x minus 12, you would set that equal to zero, and you'd have x minus four, x plus three equals zero, and you'd have x minus four equals zero, x plus three equals zero, so that's x equals negative three, x equals four. I know you guys can do that in your head, but I need to show you something. When we do a factor, we have x minus four. The zero of that is four, okay? So notice that's the opposite sign there. So that's, everyone thinks that that is negative four, but it's actually positive four. And negative three, right? So positive three turns out to negative three. That's gonna be important as we go on to synthetic division. So hopefully you kind of make sense of that, but let's just keep going. All right, in class, you divided that with me in class and you did an amazing job. Notice we got negative five here, all the work is there. Now you could have actually done synthetic division on this and it would have been so much easier. Okay, so check this out, this is amazing. The first thing we wanna do is look at the divisor. The divisor is x plus seven. And so you have to think in your head, okay? So in your head, think x plus seven equals zero, x equals negative seven. So that is a key piece, because that's we're checking to see whether or not this is a factor, which means if it is, it's also a zero. So a factor ends up being a zero. So we put negative seven and we put it right in this little box. Okay, so just watch this one. You can copy it, you can pause it in a second. You can put it in a little box. And then I'm gonna write out all the coefficients in descending power order. So this coefficient is one. This coefficient is five. This coefficient is negative 17, and then negative 26. Skip some space underneath, and then draw a horizontal line just like that, okay? Now I know you guys are like, what in the heck is going on, Harrison? Chill out. I say, you chill. All right, so here's what we do. We drop down the first one, and it's one. We go negative seven times one is negative seven. Then we always add, we always add, so that's negative two. Negative seven times negative two is positive 14. Add, always add, negative three. Seven, negative seven times negative th three is 21. Add, negative five. Oh my gosh. All right, check this out. Check this, this is so cool. This is always your remainder. Boom. You see that? Next, this is always your constant. This is always your x term, and this is always your x squared term. So believe it or not, check this out. You get x squared minus 2x minus 3 plus negative 5, and then what was my divisor? x plus 7. Check this out. I might even have to take red here. Isn't this the same answer we got? And we didn't have to do long division. That is cool. Okay, so let's... Go to the next problem and let's check and see it out. This is the one we did in class also. And so again, you're gonna think to yourself, think 
x plus 4, when does it equal 0? x equals negative 4. Because remember, we're asking, is this a factor? A factor is a 0. Okay, you're going to slowly learn that. Every time you have a factor, if, it's, if it has no remainder, it's a 0. So in this case, just so you know, if we go back one page, because there was a remainder, this is not a factor. Okay, it's not a factor, unfortunately, sad. Okay, so let's do this one. So remember, negative 4, put it in the corral, never leaves. Coefficients, 3, 14, negative 2, negative 37. Skip some space, because remember, you're going to fill in numbers right here, okay? First one, always drops down. Number one error, people do 3 times negative 4, and they write negative 12 here. Game over. You're already done out of the, problem, out of the context. Wrong. So you always drop down the first one, okay? So just drop that down. Negative 4 times 3, negative 12. Always add 2. Negative 8 times, uh, I'm sorry, I said the answer. Negative 4 times 2, negative 8. So that's negative 10. And then negative 4 times negative 10 is 40. And so we add, we get 3. Check that out. That's the remainder. Check. This is the constant term. Check. This is the x term, and this is the x squared term. Boom. Okay, since this was not a zero, not a factor. Okay, what wasn't a factor? X plus four was not a factor. And that also means not a zero. What was not a zero? X equals negative four is not a zero. Okay, those will all come back. We're just planting seeds in your head. All right, one more. Actually, no, there's two more. So let's just do this one a little faster. Maybe, you know what? Notice here, a remainder is zero. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so now let's do it again. So think x plus 2, when does it equal 0? x equals negative 2. Okay, x equals negative 2. So we're going to put negative 2, put it in the cage. We got 1. We got negative 5. We got negative 22. We got negative 16. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Drop down 1. Negative 2 times 1, negative 2. That's negative 7. Boom. Positive 14. Negative 8. Negative 2 times negative 8. Positive 16. Boom. This is a winner. This is a huge deal coming up in this chapter. This is a winner. Okay? That means that x plus 2 is a factor. Okay? And notice this is our um, quotient here. And that can even go further. So um, for those of you that are totally ready to go on, check this out. If p of x was x cubed minus 5x squared minus 22x minus 16, we now know that x plus 2 factors that into x squared minus 7x minus 8. This is a quadratic, and so you can actually factor it further and check this out. I mean, this is amazing stuff because now you have a factored form, and I'd be willing to bet you guys can start to think about, oh, I know the zeros. I know one of the zeros, negative two, we found that up here. This zero is eight, and this zero is negative one. Again, I'm about four or five days ahead of you, but that's how it's done. All right, one last one, okay? I know we're uh, getting tired here. So what about if you look at, okay, if you look at all the ones we've done so far, did you notice this had a one in front of the x, okay? This one had a one in front of the x, and then the last one we just did that was a factor had a one in front of the x. So those are all linear, first of all, and they all had a one. Well, what about if there's a three? So some of you guys are like, oh no, we're gonna have to do long division with the three. And I'm gonna say, no, you don't, but you gotta hang on to your hats here. So we say, think, three x minus two equals zero. Three x equals two, x equals two thirds. So that's what you have to divide by. And I know that's a little tiny, sorry. Two thirds. You gotta check that. Two thirds. Put it in the cage right there. Now put the three. Put the negative eleven. Put the negative six. Put the eight. Here we go, kids. This is gonna be amazing. Drop down three. Two thirds times three is two. Add those together. Negative nine. Two thirds of negative nine. I know you guys are like, oh, fractions. Yeah, you're a big kid now. You can do this. Negative two thirds times negative. Uh, 9 is negative 6. Add those together, negative 12. And you're like, this is never going to work. 2 thirds times negative 12 is negative 8. Boom. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Do you notice that right there, those are the same answer. 
but now you're gonna yell at me. You're yelling at the screen right now and saying, Harrison, these don't equal. These don't equal. You lied to us. And I'm gonna say, no, nope, you gotta be careful. So this was our factor we used. So let me see if I can do this without confusing everybody. 3x cubed minus 11x squared minus 6x plus 8. I am claiming, okay, that is the same thing as x plus 2 thirds. I'm sorry, minus 2 thirds. Oh, my first typo in 11 minutes on the screen. I know you guys are tired. You guys got this. Keep going. Stay focused. Okay, so that, remember, when I set that equal to 0, that's going to be 2 thirds. And then what's the rest? So that is my constant. This is my x term, and this is my x squared term. So I'm going to just write it. Trust me here. 3x squared minus 9x minus 12. Well, these are all factorable by 3. And this is going to blow your mind. Watch this. x minus 2 thirds, 3 times x squared minus 3x minus 4. Oh, ho, ho. Still on the page, I hope. Yes, right there and right there. Do you see that? It's the same now. And now, if I distribute the 3 over here, Harrison for the win. You guys are brilliant. And there it is. See, it still will work. This is always your um, quotient, but sometimes you have to rearrange it with what you divide it by. Okay, I know this is 11 and a half minutes. You guys are just hanging in there. What I want you guys to do is copy these two problems down, and I want you to do synthetic division on those to see if you can do them right. So I'll end it right now. You hit pause. In the next video, I'll do the solutions. Okay, nice job, you guys. Way to stick with it.